Hi, I'm Tabitha and I'm a senior. I'm from North Star. Speak poet! And my poem is entitled, A Survival Guide to the One in 16. When they tell us about suicide in school, we're met with nothing but numbers. Like one in 16 teens attempt suicide and 25% of teens have the idea of suicide, which is such an apathetic way to show it. This is not some mere thought at the back of your head. It is a solid idea rooted in your mind then knocking us over like chess pieces, replacing us with numbers. But statistics are not what runs through the mind when something like this happens. You are thinking about how each issue is another weight that you've strapped to yourself and you are already stuck in 40 pounds of cement sinking into yourself more each day into the complete Marianas trench of depression. They talk about how your family will be affected, how you will make them feel, how they blame themselves. But why is it never addressed how you feel? because you were just in the psychiatric unit of the hospital for two weeks, and you almost missed Thanksgiving with your sister, only to have a panic attack in the mall on Black Friday, just after you're discharged, and it starts to feel like everyone is stomping on you, making you smaller, making you want to fold into yourself, like you, like you almost silenced your, <sighs> making you want to fold into yourself, silencing you like you almost silenced yourself, why is it not about me? About how my, when my mother found out that I was one in 16 and she called me selfish. How it felt when she yelled and laughed saying that I was stupid. And it felt like she crumpled me into the small ball of paper and lit me on fire. Every family member greeting felt like a grip at the back of my neck as they tell me I scared them. To promise them I'll never do it again didn't show my value, didn't show why I mattered to myself. It was a half-hearted promise that I couldn't make until I was better. It was about the dogs that I would miss seeing and the bagels with cream cheese and grape jelly and the way that my sister makes time fly when she's around and the things that would maybe get better. So I showed myself what I, what I would miss being gone, why I should promise myself why being gone should scare me too. So I started being selfish because I needed more than a couple weeks for some self-care. It needed to be about me. I am one in 16, but the videos in school will not educate you on feel what feeling suicidal truly is or why you should stick around, but I'm hoping that you can find a way to see yourself the way that I, one in 16, see you.